Hello, my name is CU, and there's been a lot of L's being thrown around in the internet lately. Let's just jump right into it. Popular YouTube streamer Ice of Speed recently partnered up with a crypto scam company for $2 million. And what does that give to a small impressionable audience of being exposed to this scummy and fake company? Well, we get to get Cristiano Ronaldo if he was mute and just came back from Ohio, and a broken PS5 that was smashed to pieces because of all XD. What's worse is that Isaac Speed isn't some kind of small influencer who fallen for his bait. No, dude was literally defending this obvious scam, trying to crowd control while his audience clearly knows that all of this is just a, it's just bullshit. A fake Ronaldo in selling a crypto scam company. The excuse of Speed being 17 is out of the window now. He fully cooperated with this company. It's with no apparent that his audience clearly hated this. I mean, dude was willing to expose his audience to fake and posted crypto scams that everyone hates in exchange for some big money. The best thing you can do is just apologize. This event is just imperable at this point, however. Just wait it to, just wait it to fade away out of everyone's mind and it's real good. But this will definitely be a stain in his ever growing career, so pretty high L right there. I have been longing for this day, the day that truly just be put on his grave for good. So lately Elon Musk, the new company owner, has put some very capitalistic demands for his employees and they just left, they just saved themselves from that dumpster fire. It got so bad that a bunch of headquarters for Twitter actually closed for the time being. And you know how he tried to fix this whole conundrum, this whole problem that's going on in, in, in his own company they spent $44 billion on? Bringing back Donald J. Money Trumps back to the site. Now he, was, now he was decided by a poll in his Twitter deciding whether Trump should be unbanned or not. And, and the quote unquote people spoke with Elon Musk speaking some Latin shit to make himself feel smart. But Trump even denied this saying Twitter has a bunch of problems so he decides to stay in his own little internet cave or whatever. You know you fucked up when the person who's known for being the most famous tweet shit poster even sees your platform unepically. I still believe he bought Twitter just to take down that one Elon Musk jet stalker guy or whatever is what, what was going on there. Now, now Kanye West who was banned for anti-semitic comments was also unbanned. Like At this point, letting racist and criminal politicians in your website is just a greedy and scummy billionaire move. I mean, it's kind of obvious at this point. Nice job of being a unique douchebag, Elon. Let's be honest, the Kakao Autocado is just a mystery. Does he act like this for the camera or is, this, he, is he actually mad? Well, Umfabil, number one avocado reactor, invited Nikocado for a five day visit to the, um, the Umfabil. I, 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 I keep stuttering when I say his name. Umfabil residence. Already a bad idea. And my question kind of doesn't get answered, even though Oompa Bill also said the same thing. The whole thing kind of gone wild, and it's kind of difficult whether or not Nikocado actually does this as an act or is actually for real. No cap, ain't lying shit. And it just takes so much else, like it's unbelievable. Like, dude is just dead at that point. No man can take that much else in one interview. A fish! A fish! <gasps> But Umpapu also kind of takes a big, pretty, pretty big L here because if I'm seeing a man in a scooter terrorizing my estate, I will not trust that man to touch anything in my house. And dude is in two Nikocado Avocado videos, not just one, dos videos, living and breeding to experience this behemoth, consume 50 bags of Takis. But having a mentally ill man scoot around your house is pretty decently intense. Takis are seriously intense. <laughs> Yeah.